welcome to the class of Wake Maths. In this class, we will extend our discussion on multiplication by Nikulam method with some different types of examples. In our previous two classes, we have seen the multiplication of two numbers which were closer to a base or less than the base or both the conditions. Whereas, in our today's discussion, we will take the examples of those numbers which are more than the base to which the numbers were closer to. So let's begin with our first example, that is, the multiplication of 108 by 112. Obviously, the base will be 100, as both the numbers were closer to 100. But what we see here, that these numbers were more than 100. Anyways, the method of calculation will remain the same. So first of all, we will find the difference between the base and the numbers. So the difference between 100 and 108 is minus 8. Similarly, the difference between 100 and 112 is minus 12. As we know that, answer contain two parts. In the first part, we will either write the difference between 108 and minus 12 or the difference between 112 and minus 8. So the difference is 120, because if we subtract minus 12 from 108, we will get 120. This is the first part of our answer. And in the second part, we will write the multiplication of minus 8 and minus 12, that is, 96. This is the second part, and it has to be written in the continuation to the first part. But as we know, before finalizing the answer, we will have to check whether the second part of our answer contains as many digits as the number of zeros in the base, that is, 2 digit. Here it already contains. So the answer is 12096. Ok, now the next question 104 multiplied by 102. Again, the base will be 100. And 104 is how much less than its base? Minus 4. And 102 is how much less than its base? It is minus 2. As we know, first part will I there be the difference of 104 and minus 2 or 102 and minus 4, which is 106. This is the first part. Now the second part, it has to be written in continuation to first part, is the multiplication of minus 4 and minus 2, that is, 8. This is the second part. But second part must contain two digits, so we have to put 1 0 before it to make it equal. So the answer will become 10608. Now the third example, what is the base? For the multiplication of 1008 and 1012. The base is obviously 1000 because both these numbers are closer to 1000. Now we will find the difference between the base and these numbers. So 1000 minus 1008 will be minus 8 and 1000 minus 1012 will be minus 12. Now we can write down the answer. The first part will be the difference of 1008 and minus 12, which is 1020. And the second part will be the multiplication of these two number, that is, 96. But the second part must contain three digits, so we will place 10 before 96, to make it three digit number. So the final answer will become 1020096. If you practice it, you don't have to do all these calculations. You can directly write the answer by doing mental calculation. The base for this multiplication is 10,000. Now, 10,008 is how much less than 10,000? It is minus 8. Similarly, 10,012 is minus 12 less than 10,000. Then we can write down the answer, as we have done in our previous examples. The first part will be difference of 10,008 and minus 12, that is, 10,020. And the second part will be the multiplication of minus 8 and minus 12, that is, 96. As the base contains 4 zeros so, we have to put 2 zeros before 96 to make it 4 digit number. So the final answer will be 10020096. We will see different types of examples in our next class.